<sighs> Welcome once again to another episode in my new attempt uh, at uh, surviving in Space Engineers. Uh, as you can tell, already some things have changed. Not only that, did I finally connect my good microphone, which uh, picked up way more room audio, so you'll hear, hear my creaky chair. But also, I'm no longer in a cryopod, I'm in a bed now. Um, because, you know, I took the time to do some decorate and renovating. You remember what this room looked like. Now it looks totally different. It's, uh, it's pretty nice. I got a little shower here. And, um, a restroom. And I'm using the Sparks of the Future textures here. Because, uh, you can't place lights in here. Um, that way you can still orient yourself. Then what else do we have? We have a cargo container here for easy access. A little of a chill out area with a little kitchen, kitchenette and everything. And then we have like a little command center here that I have not yet set up because I'm still lacking uh, programmable blocks. We got this um, little conference place area, which I didn't finish. There you are, okay. And you have a nice view of the finished um, landing platform. And over there, on the string and tape, you can see something that I've built. Because, as you might remember, um, the doors on that ship, the troop ramp, which are um, another blueprint from another user, um, which I'm gonna show a picture of, because I didn't look it up before recording. Uh, yeah, they, they, they don't work well in survival, but I'm trying to figure out how to do it and I'm hoping that I'm not just gonna blow myself up because if I am I'm just gonna do the lazy thing and build small grid doors. Oh, yeah, this uh, this whole area has uh, Has been changed a bit. Don't know if you notice. Yeah, got lights now got a little bit of decoration a little bit of greebling um, still got to do like a little walkway over there and decorate the landing pad and still some exterior work to do. I don't like this wall, for example. It's pretty bland. I'm probably going to use another window here for the other battery part and then put something in between the windows. And yeah, there's the whole big opening right where my refineries are that I still have to fix. Now, as you can hear, uh, the batteries are running, uh, the, the engines are running because um, I was running low on power. As you can tell right there, I was pretty close to zero, which uh, that's not ideal. I don't know if you could start the engines without battery power, but uh, I don't want to test it. Um, so I'm just going to check the battery status for a second. Battery, they are going to be fully recharged pretty soon. and. The tanks, on the other hand, are still um, over 90%, so I'm going to be able to top them off pretty easily on the connection part of build. Now to the main attraction. What I've done here is, or first let's, let's examine the issue really. These are the parts that hold the ramp in, and they are, as you can tell, using rotors and lights. Um, I don't know exactly why. I'm guessing it has something to do with the collision boxes because um, they kind of clip through the ramp. Yeah, I don't know. Anyhow, um, what I'm doing is I'm going to build this and I'm going to push this piston in ever so slightly until I can connect this. Hopefully that'll do. Yeah, I think that should, should work and um, hopefully that won't explode. My biggest concern is that, well, well I've got multiple concerns. One of them is, I don't know if I've taken the blueprint right, so it could be that I've got this um, set up the wrong way, but I'll find that out in a second. And the other thing is that if this rotor is set up um, in the wrong way, it could potentially just snap and break everything around it and explode violently. But, you know, space engineering doesn't come without its risks. So we're just gonna have to... have to do it, right? 
let me just grind this one back down. Okay, now, oh. We don't want the rover heads. What I do want to know is which of the rovers this is. Rover. Frame. So it's the wrong way around. Okay, that's good to know. Good, good thing I didn't uh, put that in because that would not have worked. Okay, so in theory, that should do it then. I don't know how often I've said those exact words. Pretty often, I think. Okay, now I have to see if uh, they have rover. They have heads attached because I don't want that. Yeah. That's what I thought. Okay. Drop these. No. Uh, I can't imagine what this must be like on console. Then again, I'm not a console gamer, so you know. You guys do you guys do you, right? Alright, moment of truth, right? Uh no, I want to go into the remote control. The remote controls are so practical. It's nice. Mm, we're gonna go piston. Cool, there's only that one. We're going to get reverse in here. I'm gonna go with minimal distance. That's gonna be our little thing that we play with here. And then we're gonna put rotor. Uh, crap. Uh, frame. Yeah, that's gonna be the one. It's gonna be in toolbar config. I'm gonna have uh, no uh, frame. Gonna have that attach thing. Okay. Boy, I'm anxious. Getting closer. Getting closer. Okay, yeah, looking good, looking good, but wonky, but good. Let's go. Is it, oh, it's attached. <gasps> it's attached. <gasps> it's attached. It is actually attached. Amazing. Go the front. I know it's it's frustrating that I labeled them completely differently, but I'm I'm not an able guy, really. I'm more of a ground kind of person. I like I like uh not getting my feet wet. That's the wrong toolbar. There we are. Okay. Yep. Uh, that's where we want to be. And then we're gonna move. Uh, no. No. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm. Which one is it? No. No. Yeah. 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 Mm. Yeah. That's it. That is it. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. In theory. Okay, that's the wrong part, but cool. In theory, I shouldn't even have to move anything or change the uh, lower limit to attach this. Can I please? Thank you. Go. Let's just remove the rotor part. There we are. Oh boy. I'm gonna go. Oh right. Um, okay. Rotor frame. Which one's the attached one? I'm wondering. Left one or right one? This one's not attached. So. 
one can remove, and this one can go back in there, and then we can go here, and we can remove this bad boy and have frame this right here. Okay. Right in there and attach. Awesome. Like that. A short moment of panic right there, but then, uh, but then everything worked for what out for me. Okay. Now, I'm gonna remove this one. Lost the piston for now. Did I just did I not put lost there? That looks kind of ugly. Gotta check that later. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go and first of all I'm gonna check the batteries again. They are almost fully recharged. Let's turn off the engines then. Thank you for your service. Door, no. Come on, rotor. Ram, yeah, that's the one. I'm just gonna attach, no, not attach. Uh, and rotor head, yeah, that's what I want. Did I do the spawn here? Yeah, okay. Dang it. I should have. Whatever, it's, it's going to be fine. It's going to be just fine. Okay. Boy, oh boy. Uh, projector. Blueprints. Port door. Okay. Yeah, there we are. It's not too shabby. Honestly, it's not too bad. Okay, actually, that is perfect. Nice. Big question that I have, though, is how do I attach the other arm thing? It's gonna be difficult. Do I have no? I obviously don't have uh, metal grids on me, which I'm gonna need though. Yeah, that's gonna be fine. Let's put these away. Screw it. Okay. Got girders. Yes, 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 yes. I have everything else I think I need. Open. Let's just see if I can just build the e-rotor part. Because if I can, then you got your arm, obviously. Oh boy. Okay. I'm tempted to just fly this unholy contraption over to the well the pit. I'm pretty sure I'm just asking for probably that. Okay, here we are. Okay. Can I build the is the I want to build the uh Okay let's demo prod. Come on. Projector only buildable. Okay. Better. Okay. What if I now took the frame? Correct. That's the one, right? And I reverse it. Did 
Did that do anything? Wait. Or maybe I can just So I know which ones they are. Uh, that's right. Okay, that's the right one. Getting so close to a solution. So close to a solution, folks. Okay, this is supposed to be going that way. I'm going to fiddle with the displacement again. There we go. Okay, come on, come on. Yeah, you can do it. Yeah, that's fine. That's that's completely fine. Just as long as I can place that one. Okay. That's cool for now. For us again. Not trusting this at all. Come on, baby. Yeah, wiggle yourself free. There you go. Okay. Now, ramp R. Don't tell me. Oh, then merge blocks could bring me that. I'm just going to move back. Oh. Well, you are in the right position. You are, however, not. It's going to be 130. Ooh. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Okay. Rain L R. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, reverse, please. No. Wiggle with the displacement again. Okay. Yeah, that's looking good. It's looking very good. Uh, where? Or attach. <gasps> it did it. Folks, uh, I've done some research and I found the issue that caused this door not to work. And it's uh, pretty simple. The um, timer block is not set up. So I went back into creative and looked at and looked at the timer block and what they're supposed to be doing. And uh, see, there's nothing here uh, except for merge block ramp. So I have Okay, the other merge block doesn't. Uh, merge block. Or oh, whatever, I can just keep it. I. It's okay if just one of them does the thing, right? Okay. Uh, merge block. Okay, now we're gonna have to have the. Uh, Rotor. Oh, gotta have to. 
Oh yeah, boy, oh boy. Rotor. All of these need to show up in the toolbar config. Right, and then I can go timer, setup actions, rotor. Uh, no, let's go with ramp first. Reverse, reverse, and frame. Reverse, reverse. I had a rotating door uh, port. Turn it on. And we got it. Timer door. Lights, and we want to start this one. Okay. Shall we try again? <gasps> it did the thing. It just did it wrong. Terminal. Merge. Let's just toggle that one on by hand. Is it merged? No way to tell. But the door in itself has opened, which is a huge victory. I'm debating with myself if I should just not build the other one, because <laughs> quite frankly, that was way too much work than I like to do, usually. Um, but we'll see. Okay. Um, what I'm wondering though is why can't I weld those last blocks? It's either because um, the ramp hasn't merged. I think that's it actually. Let's just open it again and then close it again. There we are. Okay, and that's how you build that troop ramp door. It's a pain to set up. Don't use it in survival. Do not use it in survival. So I'm thinking, like, what would the vanilla door look like? Like that. I just plop that in and build a ramp to it and call it a day. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that'll be what I'll do. Or not. You never know. Anyhow. I'll, uh, in the next video, I'll have whatever, I'll have this hole filled and I'll have the landing gears, the last landing gears, I'll have, have them built and I'll be ready for liftoff. Um, so stay tuned, subscribe to my channel if you want to see that. And then uh, we're going to explore the stars and see some bases, hopefully. Bye.